with a student budget, you obviously can't afford a lot. Well, I'm actually taller than our little car here. Try to focus on natural materials. Uh, we've heard stories of bigger campers getting stuck or having to be towed. Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Max. And this is our 2000 Daihatsu High Jet slash Piaggio Porter microvan. Come check them out. Yeah, so welcome to our tiny uh, living uh, room area. Um, it's quite tiny, but uh, it's enough to comfortably seat uh, two people over here and where I'm sitting right now. Yeah, it's uh, quite spacious here for the legs, which is nice. We uh, have a nice drawer here. So with this uh, drawer, it's really handy for us because uh, it gives us quite a lot of more storage opportunity. Um, we have it um, built that it has uh, two, two floors within it. So in the, the upper compartment, we store our solar panel, our um, uh, hot water bottle, as well as um, some clothes and some other miscellaneous items. And um, yeah, it's easily accessible. You can just open it from the top. Also the cushions, we um, made them ourselves. We really like the, the colors that it fit to uh, for the olive tones in our in our van. For this build, we build mostly with um, wood. So try to focus on natural materials, as you can see throughout the van. Also, what is uh, kind of unique about this car is that um, we have our uh, engine uh, underneath here. So that was kind of difficult in the build out because we had to build around this engine. But um, it also still gives us some extra storage right next to the engine. So this is where we keep our tools and um, some other items that we don't need on a daily basis. We tried to decorate this uh, box as nicely as possible. So we used uh, natural materials again. So wood, uh, this is actually a birch wood. On the sides, you can see that we um, decorated the box with some um, yeah, popsicle sticks that we recycled for uh, just nice decoration pieces. In this cabinet, we store most of our food. So our food items, we try to make it a bit multifunctional so that you can access it from both sides, as well as having this bit of a table uh, right here where we can uh, keep our phones or water bottle while we're sleeping in our bed. You can easily access the doors by just pulling here. We have some magnets right here and um, yeah this allows us to get our food out from this side as well as from the outside door. We thought it was uh, yeah quite important to have another window here so that's why um, this window is actually built in. Uh, not by ourselves, but we had this made because it was an important feature that we wanted. For shielding the light uh, away, we also have made some curtains. Uh, you can see that the curtains are uh, yeah, hanging on this little bamboo stick. We actually got this from our garden. Just try to, again, focus on the, the natural materials and it's also uh, cost efficient because yeah, we just use the plant from our garden. And uh, these curtains used to be an old uh, tablecloth. Uh, we dyed it with uh, with tea to make a to have these nice uh, terracotta colors um, that we have throughout the van, and obviously in such a micro camper, you uh, are always happy for every extra st space that you have. So uh, what we did is we just uh, yeah made these really simple uh, fruit baskets, um, super easy just off from a YouTube tutorial, um, and it really gives us quite some more space. So you can see we keep our onions here and some other fruit and veggies. Easy access uh, whenever we want. This is the other side of our uh, tiny living room area. Uh, here we have uh, quite a lot of storage. We have our shoes that we keep here in the front. We can easy, easily a access these when we have to go out and in. Yeah, these, uh, these boxes are for our clothes, so we store all our clothes in here. We have three of these, uh, two for, for Max, one for me, but that kind of works out. Um, and it's not much, but uh, we also tried uh, to reduce our, our clothing to a minimum, so only the things we really need. Also here we have a portable battery that we store in here, as well as our toilet paper, some extra gas bottles, as well as um, our frisbee, some other things. Yeah, that's all what we keep underneath here. The cool thing about our van is, is that we have two sliding doors on both sides. Uh, it's nice to create a little bit of cross flow throughout the van to remove some of the condensation, but it's also uh, nice because it gives us a lot of space uh, right here. Um, what some people with this van decided to do is to uh, make a passage all the way through, but we thought it'd be nice to build in a little pantry to create some extra space for groceries, uh, vegetables, and so on. And we built the shelves in specific heights 
So we can, for instance, store a wine bottle in one shelf or our oats in another one. Uh, and we have different shelves for our teas and coffees, for our breakfast, uh, for our fruit basket and so on. Also, we have a fire extinguisher here, which is also always very important to have in a van, and our little waste basket, which is a recycled Pringles can. Uh, also, here in the back, you can see we have some tiles that we bought in Portugal, and they just add a little bit more flair to this spot of the van. Two years ago, we went on holiday with a car and a tent and traveled to Spain. It's just whenever we ended up at a campsite, it took us so long to unpack everything, to set up the tent. So we had a small little cooker with us and even like sleeping in a tent, if it's raining, it's not very nice. And whenever we went to a campsite, uh, like a, a van would park right next to us and they would just park their car, put a chair outside and immediately be set up, you know, be able to cook, sleep, whatever. And we just thought it'd be so much more convenient to do, uh, to travel like that. With a student budget, you obviously can't afford a lot. So um, we kind of dreamt of van life being something really cool for us in the future. But we thought, yeah, we won't have enough money to afford it. But um, these little cars, so these micro campers, really are a nice uh, way of still experiencing that van life. Uh, also as a, as a student. Welcome to uh, the second part of our living space area. For such a micro van, it is really important to make uh, use of everything and all the space and to really focus on the multifunctionality of um, yeah, every part of the van. So uh, from the first uh, part of the living room where we have all our storage, uh, we can easily pop up the, uh, the top into this little tiny couch area. Um, for us, this is really a nice feature of the van just because everywhere where we, where we park, uh, be it a nice uh, beach spot with beautiful scenery, we just uh, yeah, pop up the trunk and uh, can uh, nicely sit here comfortably with the two of us. Um, we often just read a book here or yeah, drink some tea. Here on the right side, we also have some more uh, storage. Yeah, we deliberately uh, chose this area to, uh, be, um, to easily access everything. Um, also when we're sitting like this, but also at night when uh, this is converted into a bed. So we have our uh, sheets in here, so our pajamas. We also have space for games. We like to play some games with the two of us. Also, we recycled some old pickle jars um, that we hung up here. We have some coffee and tea, so those things we need to reach um, on a daily basis. We uh, yeah, had them screwed up top in here. In the upper drawer, there's not much space, but uh, it's really handy because you can easily just open it um, also, when it, uh, our setup is converted into a bed, so we keep uh, our underwear, some socks in here. And on the very top, uh, we have this little tiny drawer. Uh, we call it our attic. It's not very big, but uh, it gives us enough space to store um, some books. Uh, we have a little camera in here, as well as uh, some, uh, a boombox that we use uh, for music. So uh, yeah, it's uh, really handy because um, we can easily just uh, grip in here and um, get everything out within, within one reach. So we try to um, also here incorporate some nice uh, de details such as the, um, the popsicle sticks that we already had uh, in our living room area and it's just, uh, yeah, makes the drawer a bit nicer. Um, same with this drawer, we uh, put a bit of uh, red end on here just uh, to yeah, make the, have this cozy feeling. But also a nice feature, uh, which you probably wouldn't think about first, is that it actually cuts out more wood also in the front, so it's, uh, uh, it's lighter. Um, so if you're looking onto finding uh, ways to uh, reduce the weight of your van, this is yeah, some nice little features of how to do it. Here on the left side, we have another little feature uh, that we would like to show you. Uh, from the outside, you can see we just um, put some Polaroids on here, like a little memory wall. Uh, but behind uh, this uh, wooden plank, we have extra storage um, because you can see it kind of uh, goes in a couple of centimeters. So this um, yeah gives us room for some towels, uh, some other kitchen items. We keep some of our bathroom stuff also in here. 
dishwashing soap. These items are kind of like another form of uh, insulation. It's another handy feature to have. So when it's time to go to sleep, we just simply convert our living space into a bed. So we always start off by putting the slats in. And next we just put a cushion here in the middle. And now we already have our full-size bed. Welcome to our bedroom. Um, this is where we sleep. It's 185 long uh, and I'm 193. So we have to push the seat forward a little bit and recline it forward. But that also gives me the option to use it as a, a seat. And uh, we can sit here together like this. Uh, it's also one meter wide, so it's nice and cozy with the two of us. Uh, we have to cuddle, but also very nice for the cold nights, so we keep each other warm. To, to make it nice and cozy, we have some fairy lights up here. Uh, we can easily just switch it on. These are just normal AA batteries. Yeah. Usually what we do at night is we go to bed quite early and then we watch like an episode or uh, of a series or a movie. Um, with our home cinema set up. It gets really comfortable in here. I also always say it has the feeling of a pillow fort yeah, in here. If, you, if everything is closed and we block all the light from the windows, you really forget uh, in the place where you are and you're back into your little uh, cozy cocoon. And we just love sleeping here and we sleep very well. At night, after a full day of charging with the solar panel, we usually put our battery here on top of the pantry and we can just use it to charge all our devices, our phones, iPads, cameras. So this uh, small battery actually lasts us quite a while. I think in the beginning of our trip we fully charged it and then didn't need to charge it for three weeks. It's uh, gotten us this far and uh, we're really uh, happy with it. Here at the back of the van we also have our tiny bathroom. Uh, as you can see here this is literally all the things we need. Um, our toothbrushes, toothpaste and then Here's a little uh, basket with um, yeah, some face cream, some soap, deodorant, and yeah, we don't really need a lot of stuff, so this is um, yeah, sufficient for, uh, for our bathroom needs. And below, uh, obviously, we need some water, um, so we have a 10-liter tank right here. We often just carry some bottles as well that we can fill up when we're on the way. So we have a bit more. In total, we have like 15 liters always uh, in our car. It's not much, but we try to be really resourceful with uh, our water usage. Behind the, the water tank, we have uh, our little garage, as we call it. Um, there's actually quite some space behind this where uh, we put our winter jackets and some other shoes, items, things like that. You can see here a tiny little opening where we have our broom to just keep the van nice and clean and also um, a shovel in case we do have an emergency where we have to uh, yeah, be creative with our bathroom situation. It's really fortunate that in Europe you have a lot of public bathrooms, so we really make use of those. And uh, yeah, most of the case we don't even have to use this. So um, yeah, it's, re it's really handy and easy and uh, we manage, so yeah. On our travels, there have been quite a lot of advantages. Traveling in such a small car, especially in Portugal and Spain, uh, you go through a bunch of small towns with narrow streets. And uh, we've heard stories of bigger campers getting stuck or having to be towed. And I mean, with our car, that's never been a problem so far. Um, plus, in such a small car, people usually don't suspect uh, people sleeping in them. So we haven't been bothered by police or uh, local authorities about sleeping uh, somewhere. Yeah, I guess one of the other advantages that we see that uh, maybe others see as a disadvantage is that we really just have to live with less because we just don't have that much space. Um, but for us, kind of trying to be uh, mindful of our environment and of how much resources we use, we think this is actually really ideal because yeah. we, we can't use that much water, we can't just buy all the food we, we want. So it's really helping us to focus less on consuming and more on 
living, the experiences, the relationships, and we see that as a, as a really as an advantage. So here in the back of our van, we um, also have some more storage for clothes. So on the very right hand side, we have, uh, yeah, this is my basket with clothes. And also here is our uh, slide out kitchen. Um, we thought it's very handy and such a micro camper to uh, cook outdoors. And it's really nice with the with the rooftop here that we have that kind of shield us from rain if it is raining a bit while we want to cook. I just want to show you the slide out kitchen that we built. Um, it's small, but uh, we can easily prepare all our meals here. We have a big countertop and we can easily just open it from both sides. Yeah, so here we have our two pit butane gas stove. Uh, we think it's uh, yeah really handy to have two pits so we can cook um, yeah, two different things at the same time. We use this quite frequently as we cook uh, basically almost every meal. Below we have uh, more space for kitchen items such as uh, our coffee grinder, some cups, um, some other items that we use and we can easily just get out. In the back we can also um, nicely open another drawer here. Uh, we use these as planks to cut on and uh, in the back we have all our spices and other things we use to cook with our cutlery, uh, more cups and plates. Um, we basically just have uh, two of each of everything because that's all we need with the two of us. On the, the lower part, uh, on the back, we have uh, some more kitchen items such as um, the pots and the pans that we can also easily just uh, slide out. Yeah, as you probably have noticed, we uh, do not have a fridge and that's uh, yeah, partially due to the fact that we don't have enough, enough space to store a fridge. But uh, we also really don't need it um, because we mostly cook with fresh, uh, fresh foods. Uh, we don't need to refrigerate any of them. And yeah, most of the meals we cook are vegetarian or vegan. So yeah, a fridge is not really necessary in our case. And yeah, it saves us a lot of space for other stuff. So that's uh, really handy. So now I'm in the cabin of the car. The engine is below me, below my seat. It's a 1.3 liter uh, gasoline engine. It has 64 brake horsepower and it's got a top speed of 130 kilometers an hour even though it's not very comfortable driving like that. So we usually drive around 110 on highways or 70 to 80 kilometers an hour country roads. It uses about 7 liters per 100 kilometers. So it's quite efficient because it's such a small car and it also has no problem driving up uh, steep inclines. And as you can see, I'm quite a tall guy for such a small car. I'm 6'4", but I fit just perfectly fine in here. Only thing is that if it's raining and we have the windshield wipers on, it's difficult for me to switch into first gear. So there's some quirks that come uh, with the size differences, but it's manageable to drive in. Uh, also, the seats I'm sitting on, uh, Nikki made the, the covers herself because uh, they were kind of old and uh, dusty before. For the rest we have a couple of more items here in the cabin. We have a little phone holder from Ikea that we just used to put our phone in for GPS. Uh, and we have some miscellaneous items that we picked up along the road. But yeah, that basically sums up the cabin. So just some stats on our uh, Ollie here. Uh, he is 3 meters 40 long, uh, 1 meter 40 wide and just 1 meter 87 tall. So I'm actually taller than our little car here. So in total, that gives us about four and a half square meters with even less of actual living space. Well, thanks for watching our tour and uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to follow us on social media, we have an Instagram at Little Olive. And if you guys have any questions about van life or building out a camper, you can just contact us. Feel free. Hope to see you on the road.